Hey guys, it's Garrett from Garrett Outdoors. Coming to you from the back of my van. I wish I could tell you that's because I wanted to change the scenery, but uh, I'm just hiding from the kids. <laughs> Don't tell them I'm back here. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys today. I told you I wanted to talk to you that I had some ideas, some things I wanted to share with you. Lessons learned about burying caches, especially out in the woods. First off, I did a little experiment. I pre-planned an experiment. I tried this old shovel, this old style, with this new style, the Coleman style. And I gotta say, as far as actually trying to break into the ground and digging the initial hole, I like the old style a lot better. I gotta say the reason I liked it better for the initial digging is because the handle's longer. It's quite a bit longer, as you'll see. And when you're doing the initial hole digging, if you're trying to use it like an actual shovel, that extra length means you don't have to bend over so far, so it made it easier. That extra length, though, also means it's a little bit harder to pack. Now, the length wasn't an issue in the big pack that I used, but I could see in a slightly smaller pack it could be an issue. Once I got past the initial digging, though, and I actually was digging deeper and deeper and deeper, I actually kind of like this one better. And I don't know if that it has a lot to do with the shape, but this one, this triangle shape versus the rounded shape of this one, this one just seemed to do better at getting where I was trying to get. And also probably due to the fact that it's newer, has a sharper edge on the front here. Um, hitting roots and things like that were as easier to break through with this one than it was with the older style but I think that could be improved if I sharpened up that edge. Now, speaking of roots, I don't think I'll ever try to bury a cache so close to trees again. Um, although I ran into this problem really everywhere I was digging, but the majority of it is just looks like it's fairly open and just a lot of leaf litter and duff and pine needles and things like that. But I, as I was digging, I found nothing but roots and roots and roots and more roots. In fact, it got to be such a battle in a couple cases that I didn't get to go quite as deep as I wanted to. I think with a little bit better uh, selection of location, I could have got past the roots. But it seemed like a lot of the roots underground were old tree roots. And even if there was no tree nearby, I was still running into roots and it was causing a problem where I had to spend more time digging away to try to clear a path for me to get the uh, containers down deep enough into the ground. Also I learned that the smaller the container is, the easier it is to bury. Obviously it makes sense, but uh, the one coffee container versus the other coffee container was night and day and burying them. And also, even though I was in an area where I did not expect to see anybody, maybe it was because I chose you know, the day that I chose, or I don't know, maybe it's because such nice weather. Uh, I still, there were still people out in the woods, people I, I don't want to say encountered, but I became very aware that they were nearby. And that impacted not only me filming, as I mentioned in the video, uh, but also my location, how I was acting in my location. It made me go faster than I wanted to go. So maybe pre-scout the area, maybe make sure nobody's going to stumble upon you because that would have been pretty bad. You know, I don't want anybody else knowing where I'm putting my caches because then, you know, obviously somebody else knows where they are, then they're at risk. And then I guess the last lesson would have to be don't choose to go out on an insanely hot and muggy day like I did. I want to say when I went out, it was something like 85 to 87 degrees, something like that. And uh, I was really dying out there. You know, I consider myself, you know, I am not a physical specimen by any means, but I'm fairly fit, fit enough that I didn't think I was going to get winded by a hike out, digging four holes and then hiking back in. And uh, you know what? I did. It kind of tired me out, especially trying to go quickly. And uh, that heat, it just, it really saps it really sucks the energy right out of you so 
maybe check the weather and try to find an optimal day on a cooler day maybe even to go out. That also might have helped keep the bugs down. Anyways, I know there's going to be a lot more lessons learned from this, especially when I go back and dig it up. I'm already planning some of my next caches, but I'm really going to have to hold off too much until I get the uh, results of this uh, to let me know what I can expect with the environment that I'm likely to be digging in, uh, besides roots. <laughs> Ideally, if I go and put food in the ground, I want to put it a lot deeper than what I did. And that's also something else that these small shovels, they were good for packing in and out, but for digging caches, they're not ideal. I mean, I really would have liked a full-size shovel, but if I'm hiking into the woods with a full-size shovel, especially if I'm going to be around people at one point or another, people might kind of get the idea of what's going on. So you'll have to pick and choose your battles with that one. But anyways, I just wanted to share these things with you, bring up a couple of the topics and uh, that were on my mind as I was doing this. Well, that about does it for this video. If you guys uh, really enjoy my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you stop by and visit me on Patreon. I have a link down in the description. And as always, if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, hit me up in the comment box below, and I'll catch you. And I'll catch you guys next time.